All right, y'all. Well, shit, somebody just texted me. I don't even know. I left the shop aside. Many other protesters left. Many other protesters left the shop aside as well. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> Love the light up, ain't I, mask? Let me have some check me. Yeah. Have some? Can I have some? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, y'all. Hey, Mia. How you doing? How you doing? Beautiful. Good. Hey. Am I right? How about you? Y'all know about Hi. Oh, he, he's uh, the. Uh, I'll shake your hand. I got. I got. The king of. There you go. <laughs> the sound of the peace, peace. Oh, okay. The king. <laughs> well, my name is Bella. Nice to meet you. I'm a live streamer. Okay, I've heard your name before. Okay. Seen your work. All right, thank you. <laughs> Keeping an eye on things through your through your lens. Oh, okay. <laughs> Now I got a little bit of language, but you know. Indeed. <laughs> I was following you, uh, one of the nights you we were on a uh, show before I got out there, and you were walking close to the police. And uh, you know, you're like, shit, I ain't getting too close, but they don't mind me after me. <laughs> right. <laughs> didn't they get you one night, though? <laughs> I got pepper sprayed a little bit, but. Yeah. I thought they, they didn't arrest you one night. Oh, yeah, they detained me. They That's detained. when Howard got arrested. In the van, Howard in the white van, when we went to the quick trip and did the minute, four and a half minutes of silence, I got detained. They shut down my stream. They told me that uh, if I did not leave St. Louis, that I would be arrested and the van would be told and anybody in the van would be arrested. And I was like, well, you didn't even tell me what crime I committed for you to be giving me an order like that. And he was like, instead of saying anything of substance, he just kind of like, you know, did the asshole shrug and grabbed onto his vest and was like, okay. <laughs> they imposed the car. Right. And I'm like, I'm from Oakland, California, so good luck with that. Now I'm looking for an apartment. <laughs> Y'all started some shit. You were a rider, but now yeah. you're going to be a camper. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you know, I came out of Occupy. It's nothing to me, the whole space. Well, yeah, I was about to say, I'm going to walk around, y'all. It was very nice meeting you. Hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Once again, a very calm, peaceful vibe in the crowd. You see, I came in and got some Chex Mix. This is a young gentleman from Africa who was participating in the uh, Occupy Slew conversations. He's asked me to come talk. I put my camera down. He asked me to come over here. Hi, I'm Bella. No, 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 we're not trying to talk to you. Nice. Oh, okay, y'all, I'm gonna put the stream on mute for a minute because they asked me to come over here, so I'm sorry, y'all gotta respect it.
All right, you guys. So basically, I'm standing here talking with those very eloquently spoken well um, gentlemen who were at Occupy SLU. And you guys remember this gentleman here, the trolls have unleashed a ridiculous attack on him because of the uh, artistic, artistic expression that he had given us. There was a rap that he wrote when he was in prison. And they're talking about the fact that it was supporting that Occupy SLU people were raping uh, students on SLU campus. But any of you who have watched my stream know that he gave a, a really uh, eloquent explanation about this his state of mind and about this being artistic expression and about him finding you know what I mean finding ways to express himself and he just wanted to share that with them so this was not anything or any form of attack so we were standing here having a conversation about the trolls and how they've been attacking him and how they basically took a sound bite like CNN or somebody else and used that to form a fucked up narrative to represent this this young powerful black man here who's been standing up for his rights and did participate in very peaceful non-violent communication to break down barriers and further the movement. So um, for y'all I was wondering why I cut it on mute is because I'm standing here talking to these wonderful black brothers and we were having a conversation about that. Um, so yeah, sorry, anyway. <laughs> basically, basically, I want to break down my name is break down telling you about saying that I'm a, the rape I was not talking about raping on women, no matter what your color is. I wasn't talking about no rape, but talking no harm to a female. I would never put my hands on a female or anything. And it was just in a, it was just how I was feeling and how I was getting treated because I was locked down. I, I was feeling that way. I was getting, I was getting treated a way that like I never felt and I couldn't do nothing about it. That's how it was. And that's how I explained it in the song. Like from metaphors, from stuff getting branded, how all this is true if you go up there, if they bring a camera inside the penitentiary, y'all can see it. If it's, it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff, man. I've been through a lot of stuff. I could go on and on about it. And it needs to be justice inside that system because we do get oppressed. It, it doesn't matter your skin color in there because you getting oppressed if you, white boys getting oppressed if they come in there, you gotta give money to a person that's older than you from your neighborhood by force or not. You gotta go check inside a PC or in a hole, and it's just like that. Like this is what this is what you seeing. This is what you living through. This is a world inside another world. If you ain't never been there, and they, the person put it out, a coward move. He's trying to he's trying to downgrade me. He's trying to make me seem look like have me paint a picture to the um, public like I'm a person that a rape somebody. Like that doesn't make any sense. Anybody know me know I'm not like that. And ain't not, and I'm I'm around everybody right now. I'm in front of the police station and everything, man. He need to keep it real. He's on the laptop. He didn't show the whole video. And we gonna give y'all a link to the video so you can see everything. And he just need to get it right. It just ain't real. We try to start a new our generation is not for the go by the old generation. We take what they, they did and we they're wrong and we change it and we move on. This is our generation put a generation up under us. And somebody is trying to harm what we trying to create. That's all it is. Right, right. So the only reason why he felt like that how he released the video is because the simple fact that the only people that did this thing thing to him, locked him up in there and let him have to go through that situation that happened in prison was the white people. And then when I'm speaking, when I'm saying by the white people, I mean by the American government, you know? Cause that's the only people he, that's his, that's his own, that's, that's like the only two threats. It's the white man or the black man. It's like the white man always picking on a black man. That's what it is from slavery to everywhere. And see, what they don't understand is, I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not American, but I'm an American citizen. The only thing about that is that I have to go through the simple fact that I stay in a black neighborhood. Um, and the thing about that is, the black people are thought that African people are dirty, and you know what I'm saying, they don't know nothing, they're not educated, and uh, they're not intelligent. Look how they dress because they only show the negative part about Africa, like the village, the people who stay in the village and about. There are city people just like just like the um 
american you're gonna have the city you're gonna have the county and then you're gonna have the uh, country part these people are like country poor they poor in their way but they rich in their own way they also rich in their own way that's what the american money have more value on the african money because it's the dollar they're trying to make the dollar higher than all but euro got more you know what i'm saying they got they using pounds am i right pounds they using pounds their money are more valued than american money so they um just like the president who got killed in africa Gaddafi was trying to make uh africa uh, he was trying to go back using uh gold and silver like that you know that makes africa more more, more rich that's why we in africa have diamonds rich we got all that why do you think the white man come in africa what i have to go through you know what i'm saying with my own people how the hell my people get them guns? How the hell we start killing each other? For what? Because the white man want us to kill each other so they can have fucking Africa. That's how they got us up with there. That's why they make the movie Blood Diamond. Pay attention to the movie. Look what happened. You know? But people always talk bad about African is, African is, African is, African is. Yeah, you could be African, Haitian, Jamaican, whatever. All of y'all, all of y'all need to know y'all came from Africa. Black came from Africa. The original people africa our skin is different over here in america they kill us in a different way then they talk about how about black on black crime why don't white crime well well how about black on black crime you got only black people that stay on a black neighborhood and it's only going to be black on black crime if there is a crime because you know what i'm saying that's the only time they know they can't get to the police because if they go over that's a different situation you know what i'm saying you're going to have life probably get your family killed you know you're going gonna to list list there's something it's always something, you know what I'm saying? And it, it crushed me out because I am an African. I came here. I was a refugee. I came here as a refugee. I came here to learn, get my education. I graduated from high school. I could do a lot of things. I could fix cars from 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 this crap. I could fix it. I, I could do say, it. I want to say something. I've been about through that. it all. Hold on. Let me say something about them comments too. In the war. On dude page, man, it's a lot of it's a lot of comments on there. I ain't racist. I love saying white people. this and saying I'm from that. Africa. I love them all. And I feel I, I don't feel, discriminate. I'm mean, at I feel like that's disrespect. Shit. And <laughs> putting, putting comments on her like that, showing showing your behavior, how you feel for real. But those are like statements because you didn't try to understand what the song was saying from the beginning, how I explained it before I even started rapping. <laughs> then at the end, I explained it again and dude cut it off and that's all you took. You let something take your mind and this what this generation don't need. We don't need that old philosophy of way of learning and all that things going up in this generation and the generation that's under us. And only way we're gonna change that we gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta, we gotta come together. And that's what we come together doing and dude put it out and he made his own little sketch to it. And the shit ain't and the shit ain't real, you know? The shit ain't real. It made me feel it's not real way, because man. they try to make it seem like it's racial thing. No, it's not racial. It's about the people and the police. We don't care about white. Even though white people get, you know what I'm saying, better privileges than us, we don't care. But we have, we gotta go through. Okay, yeah, it's black on black crime, and there is, and there is black and police crime. So we got two crimes we gotta face. And then there's a uh, you gotta face living in the hood. You don't have nothing. You gotta eat noodles. You know what I'm saying? Surviving noodles and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I've been through it all. I'm from Africa. Yeah, I've been through it all in St. Louis on the south side. That's where I grew up at. If I got the black mentality, yeah, I got that. And then I got the African mentality too. And then I educated myself thanks to God, cause He's the only one who created me. I don't fear no man. The white man or black man, I don't fear him. I love you people. Y'all all my people. I don't care about race. All my friends are white too. I can speak 19 different languages fluently. You know? I'm not going to say Oh, I said, do you want me to speak Swahili to you or something? Hey, what is Uhuru Sasa Wayuzi Undugu? What is Uhuru Sasa Wayuzi Undugu Ula Wayobe Unguru Way? Nini? Uhuru Sasa Wayuzi Undugu Ula Wayobe Unguru Way. See, that's, um, that's Kikuyu, that's Kikuyu Swahili. See, I don't speak Kikuyu Swahili, I speak the original from okay. Tanzania, you know what I'm saying? 
originally from Tanzania, but born in Kenya. My Swahili is different. That Swahili, they have dialogue in it. That's a song. It's a it's a lyric in a, in a song that I listened to, and I was just wondering if you could tell me. I know I know what it is, but you know what I'm saying. I don't want to be. I don't want to say you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that, you know. What I'm yeah, yeah. Like, make a fool out of myself. If I don't know something, I'm gonna say I don't know. It. Right, right, right. No, I understand. Yeah. So that's what it is. But yeah, I grew up in St. Louis and, and it's harder because I had to go through the same thing. My brother over here had to go through it. The same situation, the only thing, the only thing is I'm African and he is African and American as they call him. He got, I got to go through what he got to go through because they don't know if I'm African or not. You just got the skin. I just got the skin and my skin is a target. If you live in St. Louis, it's a target. I got to worry about jobs and and uh, getting pulled over by police. I got pulled over by police because I was black. I went to a quick trip. And this is a week before my ground incident happened. That pissed me off. I got pulled over. I went to a quick trip. I was the only black person who worked in uh, Maryland Heights. Oh, let's put this nigga over, huh? God damn, they got me. Even though I'm trying to survive, trying to get a job and, you know what I'm saying, live a better life. Hey, but but there's no success for a brother. Understand. Every time they see a brother, they're they going to turn They be them little cop show. They need to play these cop shows in St. Louis. In St. Louis, what really goes on. Breaks. Right, because they, they don't want to show the when truth over here. See, this is shit I'm talking about. Bella, install a deep fryer in your vag so we can get a chimp oh out of it. Like, man. what the fuck shit do that even, what does that even mean? You know, the shit that my little brother had a go to get a police. He got undercover police pulled up on him and he getting whooped. You know what I'm saying? He's bleeding. And now he's locked up. My little brother, he's just like me. He's just his skin, whatever. No, you were dancing out there all by myself. Son! My son. I'm up now. I'm one of the only streams. I got damn near 500 people. Anybody over here got a light? Yeah, I got a light. I don't know. I think I got one. Here you go. Oh, man. Hey, Lost, scream. You need to get on the show. Don't get on this shit. No, what are you doing? You're drinking that shit, man. That needs some Amsterdam. That shit didn't kill you, man. It's, it's expensive. Amsterdam will kill you. Cigarette will kill you. Yeah. Kill you man. Treat sweet it has been bad. Uh, Courtney, I, uh, Courtney PFB, you know, try to get some help with the trolls, you guys. I definitely still appreciate y'all tuning in and trying to have productive conversation in the stream. Like it's like a million people asking me for a cigarette. Thank you. You're welcome. How the baby doing? He good. I just went and dropped him off a little bit ago. That's why I wasn't here. Yeah. When the, right as the march took off, I was driving away like, damn. I got to make sure I get the baby away, though. You know. Oh, yeah, so I was like, what are you doing? We don't have to run no motherfucking tequila. Fuck that. Like, I shouldn't even be standing here smoking cigarettes, and that's the goddamn truth. Hey, y'all. Uh, where you get coffee from? Damn, okay. Hey, I'm good. How y'all doing? So I had a little bitty interview, y'all, but I'm walking back over so you can see the protest. The other streamer that is up is STL Dagger. I love STL Dagger because when I was being detained by the police, he came and found me. <laughs> he was smart as shit. He had a monopod and his bike. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Hey, is he still here? He went down. Um, people told me that he was going down. That's all I know. I just got back from being with the baby and took a, uh, dropped him off and took a bathroom break and then I came up and people were like, these one What is this $25,000 bomb? Oh, did you hear that? I, I heard it and I'm like, that's a shock. I don't think they can do this. That's excessive, especially somewhere where the cost of living is significant low, significantly lower than the state of California, because $25,000 is the bonds that they would give us. But the, the co You can have a one-bedroom apartment for like $350 out here, and a one-bedroom apartment in Oakland is about $1,500. So that's excessive. It is a constitutional violation to charge $25,000 bail for protesting. Well, that doesn't even sound right. How you doing? I'm good. You know. 
Hey, did you get my tweet about that guy who wanted to do an interview with you? Or a text or whatever? Hey, where are you at? Sometimes it's hard because, like, I... Yeah. Okay, I'm at the lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I did, and I reached out. I went her back. Oh, okay. It's weird. He was messaging me. Or DMing me on Twitter. I'll tag you in it. Yeah, let me go back and look at it. Because I've had so many, like... No, I know. It's overwhelming, right? Literally, I have like people like, oh, can you package this all in a nice seat, boat, and type yeah. out exactly what happened in all the timeline of events and all the pictures and all the blah, blah, blah. No, I cannot. I'm like, when in the fuck do y'all think I've got time to do this shit? Like, you realize I still have to eat yeah. and sleep like regular normal people, right? Like, and fuck. And right, you work, fuck. I took a break to come down here for my job, but I still have my baby. That's a job I don't never get a break from. Like, I don't know how you're doing it. Man, me either. Try not to think too much about it. <laughs> Thank you for that. Sorry, y'all. I don't give a shit. I love being here. <laughs> One under his belt. Will always be a killer. He killed a human being. The grand jury. Nothing. You know, I understand. You talking about the blacks persecuted other races in Africa, but I'm like, what? After Africa was raped? <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Maybe they have a little bit of a bias about people coming out there, especially when you have women in Nigeria paying $300 for like a little eight ounce cream bottle to bleach their skin that gives them cancer. And they say that they're well aware of the health of the effects, but being light gives them a better life in Africa. So I'm like, I'm not that sympathetic. Motherfuckers tell me to go back to Africa. Well, shit, y'all go home. I'll take a ticket. I will take a ticket to Africa, but you fix Ebola first. <laughs> Can you also return some of the natural resources that didn't belong to you before you try to send us back to this land? As I'm like, let's not talk about the mineral deposits that we have in the United States that we do not mine, but we support the, com the conflict trade in the Congo. Let me don't talk about Teresa Wandeko and how she had to walk for hella kilometers selling bananas and peanuts on the side of the road because she had been raped, okay? And she had wadded up cloth between her legs to catch the fucking blood. Like, let's not talk about that. It was the number one persuasive she speech in fucking the whole country. Like, we support the Congo trade. When we, I mean, the, uh, we support the mineral trade. We support the black market. We support, we support the rape and dehumanization in other countries. And then we scream about how there's like a little bit of racism going on there. Like shit, people are fucking scared of your skin color too. And you know, I like that people set try to say that we were sold by our own people but I'm under the impression that we were sold into indentured servitude which means that they thought that, that we were gonna like have homes for our families and not be raped and beaten and fed rotten food and treated like not even second class citizens or a whole human so I'm like there's also that slavery didn't look the same in Africa that it looks here I'm not saying it. Uh, I never said anything against the indigenous struggle. Everything that has happened to them is so fucked up that I can't even touch that with a stick. 
I wish these kind of numbers would be able to come out when that those atrocities were being committed against the indigenous people and while they're still being committed against the indigenous murder people. Is murder. Murder is murder. And it's those statements to say that I was bought as a slave, and so you get what I want, that what you want to give me, just lets me know that what we're doing is right and needed. So I saw Bassam, Anon Cop Watch, and Stack is Short walking over to uh, the parking lot. You see people gathering and having conversation. Racism is definitely everywhere. Uh, the cars are passing by. This is the scene in front of the police department. You still see a lot of the National Lawyer Guild. You see some of the old faces. There's Diamond and Dred Hampton. Um, hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, y'all. Give me another one. If I could hug the streamers, I would, but you know, distance, so just stand up. All the All of I I don't know anything about that uh, med student. I've never been to Africa. <laughs> So the police have retreated. You still see uh, protesters, people just gathering and having conversation. Seems like every single time the police go away, all of those tensions go away as well. People are peacefully protesting, they're chanting, they march sometimes and take the street. That's fine. Riot police shooting at them, having guns trained on them is absolutely unnecessary. As a matter of fact, it incites the crowd because the crowd is here talking about those exact types of abuses. So when they occur, while they're talking about it, while they're protesting it, you do see an added amount of rage, which I can totally understand. Oh yeah, we, I also don't know if you mean Indian, like from India, or if you're talking about indigenous people. I guess I should have asked for clarification as far as that's concerned. Anybody watching the stream scene where the drummer went? The little 13 year old that I was filming earlier saying that there are children in the crowd and here is one of them. <laughs> um, if you guys can let me know if you've seen him anywhere, uh, Bassam is trying to locate him so that we can give him a ride home. That's how we earn it, but we don't, we don't want to earn it. Because when they fuck us, we want to take it. Yeah, I just feel like this, man. I'm asking for, for something. You know what I'm saying? Like they keep everybody keep running to me with this. That's vote. Let's do this. Let's do that. We voted Obama in the president. We need to do. We never did. We need to do everything. None of us. Okay, so we need to educate ourselves on the person that we voted for. We need to educate ourselves on the person. I got more respect for Bush than I do for Obama. Straight up. They all are put there by the same people. Okay, but we need to come up. Well then. We need to come up with our people that we want to get in them offices. In them, oh, offices. are we talking about participating in the system? Oh, no. Oh. I'm so completely anti-establishment. Y'all know I can't fuck with that. 
Hello. Where's Chinese food at? <laughs> They closed. I walked down there and they was closed. Oh, damn. Oh. This girl's a person. Like, damn. I've been marching down there. Okay, sister. No, I was going to get some food. food. Oh, we're closed. You marched down there with us? No, 30 Sorry. Minutes, no, you were right. Okay. Right. Okay. If you said, no, you was hungry, I would have got you something. Oh, I, I just, you know, sometimes I don't okay. even realize exactly. I'm hungry because exactly. I'm running around filming. Then I'll be like, oh. No, no, we said already called. I guess. Yeah, we already called. I'm hungry. 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 I'
Bella if you see him call me, yeah? I will. Hey, text me if you if you find him. So I know. You guys, we still looking for Avery. If y'all see him on a stream or something, let me know. The little 13-year-old boy was playing the drum. That's Tepo nephew, I think. You know what I'm saying? Like, we trying to find him. He was supposed to get a ride home with Bassam, and Bassam is looking for him. Yeah, if you're a sovereign nation, um, there are benefits and drawbacks to that. I'm of the opinion that we have not established the communities necessary in order for us to be sovereign nations. Huh? What are you looking for, Howard? They over there jamming with the drum. I'm sitting here eating, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I never had barbecue chicken from Rallies before, but it's, it's not bad. Okay, do y'all mind if I shut down and eat these pieces of chicken? Okay, I'll be back after I finish eating, y'all. Thank you. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey. 